Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to broil the perfect steak. Um, it should be juicy, it should be um, tender, and since um, it's a steak, I really don't personally like it seasoned very much. I kind of like the the actual taste of the steak, um, especially on charcoal. Now, I'm going to do this in the oven. I'm going to broil this in the oven, so I don't have the charcoal taste, so I am going to use um, some Worcestershire sauce on it. But the first thing that I'm going to do, I have four strip steaks. And strip steaks um, do need a little marinating. The ones that don't need marinating or um, are ribeyes, new um, no ribeyes, porterhouse, t bones. Those really don't need to be marinated before you cook them. But I'm going to use um, this is just McCormick's unseasoned meat tenderizer. And I've used this for years and years, and it always seems to work pretty well. So what I do is I just take this and... Okay, there you go. I haven't used it since this summer. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go all over the steak with it. Spread it all over the steak. And this is unseasoned. And then I just take a fork and you do and you just poke it all around where the meat is on the steak. And you do that to all the steaks. And I did have this um, meat tenderizer that I paid a lot of money for and um, it's disappeared. I can't find it. I have no idea where it's at. Like I said before, that's what happens when you have nurses working for you or whatever. Over the years, I've had a lot of things missing in my life. But, um, anyway, so you just take these and poke them and go all through them with your fork. Make sure it goes all the way down. And to give it a little bit of taste, um, I'm going to put just a little bit of Worcestershire on top of them. And then I'm going to turn these over. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. I'm going to put the meat tenderizer on the other side. And I'm going to poke them with the fork all around. And then, well, I'm going to put the meat tenderizer on them. Then I'm going to do the fork. And then I'm going to put some Worcestershire on this side. And then I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. I'm going to cover them with aluminum foil and put these in the refrigerator for two or three hours um it's the only reason i'm doing that's because it'll be dinner time by then so and then once they're done i'll take these out and once they're done marinating i'll take these out and put them on a plate and then i have the top to the broiling pan and i'll put this on there and then i'll put the steaks on here and put them in the oven and but i'll do all that when I bring you back. I just wanted to show you this is the first thing that you do when you're marinating these. And so I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have let the steaks, they <laughs> marinated for a lot longer than, than I thought they were going to. It's They marinated for about six hours. And what I've done is I took the steaks off of um, the hey! inside of this pan. They were inside this pan, and I took them out of there and put them on a plate with paper towels on the plate, and I dried the steaks off and put them back on the top, 
and what I've done is I've got aluminum foil in the bottom so that you so that the drippings will drip down in there and it's good to to broil your steaks on a broiling pan like this and um, the I've got my broiler on now on my oven and what I'm going to do is we're going to cook them medium rare is um, six to eight minutes on each side for a one and a half inch but these are only like one inch so these are probably only gonna have to be um, done about about six minutes for medium rare and then medium um, will, would be seven to ten minutes for one one and a half inch but like I said these are not so I'll do the medium um, anywhere from six to eight minutes and the well will, is ten to thirteen minutes on one and a half inch but I for well done I'll probably do um, ten minutes and then once you cook them, I'm sorry, my grandson is acting up, but I've got to get these in the um, in the oven. And when you put these in the oven, you make sure that you set your timer and do not close your oven door all the way. Leave it open just a little bit so you can constantly check on them. Um, and you do do them on each side. And after they get done I will bring you back when um, they're when they're done and you want these at least two to four inches away from the from your broiler part of your oven so I'll bring you back when these get done okay I'm back I know y'all go think I'm crazy because I like ketchup on my steak. But I just wanted to show you, there's the steak. I cooked it for five minutes and it was about two minutes from, um, I mean two minutes, two inches from the broiler. So I'm going to taste this. I let took them out and let them sit for... Um, about five minutes, and I'm going to taste it now, see what it tastes like. Oh, my gosh. This is the most tender steak I have had in a long, long time. That is how you broil the perfect steak. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So... Anyway, you can see now these steaks are broiled. It's medium, well, really it's medium rare, I guess is what you'd call this. Um, I did it for five minutes on each side. It was two inches from the um, broiler. So try this. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Subscribe to my channel, and you have a wonderful night. Bye.